today we are having brunch at Raglan Road here at Disney Springs. If you don't know, we do dining reviews every single Monday, so be sure to check those out. So like I said, we are here having brunch today, and I am starting out with the Strawberry Fields Mimosa. This mimosa comes with Grey Goose Vodka, Aperol, Lemon Juice, and house-made strawberry puree topped off with Prosecco. So it really doesn't have that like traditional mimosa flavor with like the champagne and orange juice, but I really like the strawberry and the Prosecco. Mm. It is fantastic. And I love the glass that they serve it in too. It kind of gives you like a whole different feel from a brunch drink. So talking about brunch here at Raglan Road, we've never been here before, so it's our first time. They have three different types of offerings, so to speak, for brunch. They've got starters, brunchy stuff, and lunch stuff. And we chose to go with a full rack of ribs from the starters uh, just to try. And um, then we got two different entrees. But just talking a little bit about like the menu and what they offer here, um, if you're worried about them kind of not offering Americanized dishes, they do have those as well, rack of ribs. Um, they've got wings that are on the starter menu and shrimp. And if we move to the brunch stuff, you have some of the same things that you could normally get at any brunch, pancakes, eggs benedict. Um, and then we've got some more of the actual like Irishy type of themes, which is the full Irish, which is what I chose to get today. They have a pork hash tag. That sounded pretty good. Um, and then the lunchy stuff I think is far more Americanized than anything else. Um, they've got an OMG burger, which is really just a glorified bacon cheeseburger. Um, they've got salmon, fish and chips, obviously, uh, and uh, a shepherd's pot pie. That's pretty popular. You can also get that inside of Epcot. So uh, I think most of the food is going to be pretty good today, and uh, I'm looking forward to it. So for brunch today to share, Taylor and I decided to get the Rack of Heaven. This is slow roasted, Guinness glazed full rack of baby back ribs. Uh, it says it's great for sharing. This is $29, and it is a huge full rack. I mean, it's a full thing. Glaze, I, when I think of glaze, I think of it like really having a lot of like, almost like finger licking, like there's so much on there. These are a little bit more tamer than that. Um, definitely not a dry rub because they do have a little bit of a stickiness to them, but on the lighter side of the glaze. As far as like tenderness, um, cooking, meat temperature, uh, I actually think it's pretty good. I, I think it's perfect. Um, they're darn near fall off the bone. Um, really great and tender. Do you get a lot of the Guinness flavor in there? I don't know if I get a strong Guinness flavor in there, but they are definitely on the sweeter side of uh, barbecue ribs that I've had in the past. Um, not so much more of that like tanginess, but definitely very, very sweet. So uh, I like them. I think they're pretty good. Uh, it's a lot. I think we're going to take it home and make sandwiches later. So for my entree at brunch today, I went with a lunchy item and I got the OMG burger. This is dry aged prime short rib and brisket beef burger with Irish bacon, dub liner Irish cheddar, crispy potato straws, and Jameson Irish whiskey barbecue sauce. So I got my burger cooked medium well and it was still juicy on the inside. And I think all of the flavors together really make this a great burger from the Irish cheddar cheese that has a little bit more of a cheddar-y flavor. And then I love the barbecue with the Jameson in it. It's a little bit sweet, but not too sweet. And it's the same bacon that was on Josh's breakfast entree. It's that Irish bacon, so it's kind of like the, almost like ham. Um, Overall, I really liked this. The one thing that I was a little surprised by when it came out was the onion straws that are on top of it. Whenever I think of an onion straw, I think of more of like a really thin onion ring. These were actually like onion straws that were on top. So they were still really good. I was just surprised that's what it was whenever it came out. And then this was served with a side of fries and then I just got some ketchup for dipping. For my entree for brunch today, I decided to go with the full Irish. This is a full Irish breakfast with Cheshire Heritage pork Irish banger, black and white pudding, bacon, roasted tomato, mushrooms, and fried eggs 
with Rose. All right, so I have really no idea what to expect on this entire thing. I really wanted to get something that was a little bit more authentic to uh, the culture over there. And while this is all might not be exactly authentic to the uh, Irish heritage, it's still pretty close. Um, fried eggs, you can do them uh, over easy, over medium, over hard. I did mine over medium. Uh, I think they came out pretty well. The Cheshire Heritage Pork Irish Banger. Uh, I'm assuming that it's the larger piece of sausage on here. Uh, it's pretty good. Uh, a little bit of saltiness in there, uh, but not too bad. I think probably the most unique thing on here is the black and white pudding, which I have never had before. I had to look it up. So you might be saying, Josh, well, what is black and white pudding? Black and white pudding uh, is a, it says it's from Great Britain. So black pudding is a sausage made from blood, meat, fat, oatmeal, and bread or potato fillers. Sounds a little weird. And then you've got white pudding, which is everything in the black pudding minus the blood. So it just makes it white and doesn't give it that more black, uh, almost red tint to it. So uh, I'm gonna try it again, because I haven't, it's been a little while. Taylor asked me earlier if it was good. And I replied by saying it was interesting. It's not bad, but is it good? I think you have to have the right profile for it. You have to have the right palate for it. Um, this definitely seems to be made with bread and not potatoes, I think. Um, just judging by kind of like the consistency uh, and how it is all put together. But it has this almost strange, sour-like taste to it. I don't know. It's not like anything I've ever had before. I'm going to try the white. Definitely still on the saltier side. I really want to say that the, the, the blood gives it like this interesting, different type of flavor, but I think it might just be the seasoning in there. Kind of adds a little bit of uh, heat and spiciness to it. Um, white's not bad. I'm still on the fence about the black, but it's still pretty good. Bacon, just so you know, it's not served as Americanized bacon here. Um, it is more of like thinly sliced ham, so keep that in mind. But all in all, I think that this is actually a pretty good dish, and I might get it again. We just finished eating at Raglan Road for brunch, which was pretty good. It was. I enjoyed my burger, and the ribs were really good. I did like those. I would have preferred some more sauce on them, yep. but they were a glazed rib, which really doesn't have a whole lot of sauce. I guess so. I mean, I just thought glaze was kind well, of like Well, if you like think of like a glazed sauciness. donut, it's not I guess very, so. like, you know, not very... Glazed donuts and glazed ribs are interchangeable. This is how you compare. <laughs> um, I will say one thing that we did miss out on, and I don't know if they're doing it yet or not, but there was no music or anything like that oh, yeah. inside. But we definitely need to come back at some point whenever they are doing some music, yeah. maybe on a St. Patrick's Day type weekend celebration. Um, almost certainly we've had a plan to go here like the last three years, and every year we cancel for whatever reason. We, we don't have. go. <laughs> so we'll have to try and go next year for 2021. Yes. But, the yeah. restaurant itself is huge. It's huge. There are so many different rooms and like little nooks and crannies and there's two bar areas. Yep. So it is a huge restaurant for lots of people. Yeah, and we actually got seated in there right about 10 o'clock and mm -hmm. by 10.30 they were pretty packed already. Oh yeah, it was um, busy. And it got pretty loud in there as well. So it is a more kind of like fun, um, family friendly yes. atmosphere in there. So don't think of it as like uh, any type of kind of, you know, quiet romantic, romantic setting. setting yeah yeah it's yeah. very um, hustle and bustle yeah but it was good um i would definitely get my food again mm -hmm. uh, i would come back and try something else as well same i'm still on the fence about the black and white pudding <laughs> i just don't know but well it's very different it's different so it's not bad it, okay. it, it wasn't bad and i want to state that it did not the flavors were not like gross like mickey sick it was just mm -hmm. it was a different uh flavor that I just haven't tried before. And if you saw on Josh's plate, they actually gave very small portions yes. of the white and black yeah. versus the regular sausage that yeah. was on there. Yeah. So let us know if you have ever had a brunch here at Raglan Rose.